What's up everyone? Welcome back to my channel. Today we are talking about building a capsule wardrobe for your home. Styling edition. I want to talk about some styling objects that your home needs. These styling objects throughout the years have come in clutch when it comes to styling my home and other homes and I have found that I would go back to these same categories every time I would be styling. So I thought why not film a video, share with you guys the items that have seriously changed change the game for me when it comes to styling my home. Now, before we get started, I want to say I highly recommend, especially if it's your first piece in each category, buying a basic or more natural element when it comes to these items. And the reason why I say that is because a lot of, for instance, marble is going to go with so many different home styles. It's going to go with the glam. It's going to go with the rustic. It's going to go with the mid-century. It's going to go with so many different home styles. So for me, I always try to think about items that, especially with the first item that I buy in each category, I really want it to be as basic as possible so that I can pull everything together. Now, when you think about a capsule wardrobe when it comes to your fashion, we always choose basic colors and basic pieces so that we can pull in other items into our outfit. I kind of feel like the same applies to your home and also I find having a basic item is very calming. However, if you are someone who's a little bit more eclectic and you like each item to be a little bit more loud, by all means do that. I just was saying that this has been super helpful for me, my home, and styling clients' homes. Now the first thing I want to talk about is catch-all bowls. I would get trays but I never really thought about catch-all bowls and catch-all bowls seriously have been such a game changer when it comes to my home. One of my favorite catch-all bowls that I have in my home right now is this limestone bowl right here. I love this so much. I currently have it in my kitchen with some garlic piled in it, but I've used it on my coffee table. I've used it on my bedside tables. I have used this all over. You can also put a candle on here. I've put soap on here and use it in my bathroom. These are so amazing. And again, they go with so many different styles. So really going with a natural element is really going to be able for you to have these pieces forever and ever because they're going to evolve with you. Now, once you've built your basic pieces, you can start adding in more fun pieces. I have this ashtray that really needs cleaned, but this is also a very beautiful catch-all bowl. And it's something unique, it's something different, and I really like to add in these pieces just for a little bit more interest, other materials, and really building that collection so I have items to choose from. I also have these horn bowls that I like to use as catch-all or the same idea and have collected quite a few of these as well and I love them. Again, I use these for all different areas on the coffee table, anywhere really. Now this is going to be probably the first one you thought about when you were watching this video and I had to share trays. Now I like to get trays again in natural materials because they go with so many different styles. I could use this in a glam home, I could use it in a rustic home like my own, I could use it in any type of style. These just go with everything. I recently got this one from Target. By the way, I'm gonna have everything that I can possibly or similar items linked down below. I love this. I love the low profile. I love to corral my items. You can use this for literally any space in your home. I also have one in my bathroom right now that has handles. Love these. Again, I prefer to start out my collections with a natural material and build up from there. Another tray that I have is this wooden tray here. It's a European style dough bowl tray. I love this piece. I've had this for years and because I chose a natural material, it will be with me for the rest of my life. It is timeless. And then kind of a hybrid between the two is a tray like this where it's kind of a tray, kind of a catch-all. So I've used this for so many different things as well. I've put items that you might put on a tray on here. You put different perfumes. You could put, I've put disposable hand towels on here. I've put so many different things. So having those pieces that are a catch-all but could also be a tray are really nice to have in your home. Starting out with the catch-all and the tray, I would say start first and then start looking for your hybrid pieces. The next item that I think is crucial to your styling object collection is candles. Not only is this going to provide ambiance and mood, it's also, if you get scented candles, going to provide that special home scent to your home. Now when it comes to home styling, I really do try to tap into as many senses as I possibly can. Not only do I want it to look look beautiful and feel beautiful, but I want it to smell beautiful. 
beautiful. I also think that having candles is crucial to styling a space. These are amazing to add on a stack of books on your coffee table or even put in a bowl if you want to kind of fill up the space or, you know, add into a space that just needs something. And I find that candles are just, they hit so many different feelings. Not only do they smell amazing and you're building that home scent that people will leave and remember your home by, but also they're going to create an ambiance. It's just going to feel good. It's going to feel cozy and comfortable. And then they're also amazing just to add as styling objects. When you're designing a coffee table or a console table, it's just that one little piece that just completes the whole look. I really love to splurge on luxury candles. I always have. I probably always will. You don't have to have expensive candles to create that same ambiance and feeling. In fact, you could also just do taper candles or different. I have some votives as well that is going to still create the same feeling and look and it doesn't have to be expensive. So I like to have both. I like to have a collection as you guys know. I really love to have a scent in my home, especially when I have friends over. So when they leave my home, there's a scent that brings them back to my home when they're not here. One styling object that I actually didn't purchase for a long time is bud vases. I love these because not only are they amazing when I have fresh flowers or fresh greenery to kind of downsize as my flowers die, I'll keep the ones that are still going strong and move them into a bud vase or a few bud vases, but also they are that piece kind of like candles that just complete a whole look. Sometimes you need a little styling object just to finish it off. And I find bud vases to be that so many times. I like to have different, like I said, I like to start with a basic, but then I like to add in different materials and really build that collection. Metals, glass, ceramics, all of that. And also when I'm out shopping, again, kind of like the tray hybrid, I try to find candlesticks that can double as bud vases. So these little candlesticks that I found at a thrift store, they really need polish, can also double as bud vases because they go super deep and they don't have a hole in the bottom. So I can use these. And if you live in a small space like myself, I highly recommend when you're out shopping and looking at the different items that you're adding to your collection, ask yourself, can I use this for multiple purposes? I love that because you almost get a new life out of your styling objects. It kind of makes it feel fun and fresh. Now, while we're talking about florals, I think having fresh florals or fresh greenery is unbelievably beautiful for a space. It really helps bring life to the space and finishes off the whole look. Right now I have some roses from my birthday and I just have them in this little clay pot, which is like kind of another must for me. But having fresh florals or fresh greenery in your space is going to, again, complete the whole look. It's a must. You got to start adding it in if you haven't already. And you don't even have to go out to the store to get fresh florals or fresh greenery. You can go right out to your yard and clip some fresh greenery and it adds just the most beautiful finish to a space. Coffee table books, you have to start investing in coffee table books. And the way that I really like to start investing in coffee table books is to really purchase bigger books that you can use for styling of things that you're interested in. Not only is this going to kind of prompt you to look through the books and enjoy them more, but it's also going to show your guests your personality and who you are, which I think is super cool. Not only do I like it for my guests, I like it for myself and just to really see my interest and what I'm drawn to and enjoy the books instead of just looking at them and them looking pretty. I used to buy fashion books. I love fashion. I do, but not nearly as much as I love home decor and art. So I started investing more into my home decor and art book collection. I love them. They don't have to be expensive. I have a whole list of coffee table books that are in my home and that I want on my Amazon storefront, but I also get them at thrift stores. Like I got this Monet book at a thrift store, for like $3. So they don't have to be expensive but they are game changer when it comes to styling. Especially for me, sometimes when I don't have a tray available to use, I will use books to corral my different items, whether that's on my coffee table or on a side table or really anywhere. They kind of double as a tray, kind of. We're gonna start with the basic one because like I said, and I'm gonna keep saying throughout this video, buy basic first. I feel like this really helps you build your collection and they're the pieces that you might go back to over and over again. Now, have Having a vase in your home is so nice. If someone brings you flowers or if you get yourself flowers at the grocery store, it's so nice to have a vase to put them in. And I think every home needs a hurricane jar. Not only could you use these for florals, you could also put a candle in here. You can use this for so many different things. 
things, but having vases is a must. They can be used for so many different things. But another basic one is this one from Pottery Barn, which is so amazing. Again, it goes with so many different styles. This is like one of the best vases that I have ever used for floral arranging. I don't know what it is about the lip. It just, everything turns out so beautiful. So if you're not really, really great at floral arranging, but you love having fresh florals in your home, try this vase. It's incredible. It's a basic. It's one that I think goes with so many different homes. Like I said, I start out with my basics and then I start adding in my special ones, my collections, the, I, the ones that really just make my heart so happy, which would be my clay pots. That is like the one thing I really collect in my home, but also different items like this brass vase here. This is actually a, what is this called? I can't remember. You guys are going to know you're going to put it down. Artillery? Artillery? I can't, I can't think. I use this as a vase all the time and this is actually so nice for my florals. I think florals like brass because I feel like my, my flowers just stay open and beautiful and vibrant when they're in here. So I use this as a vase all the time. I absolutely love it. And again, once you build those basic pieces, you can start adding in those special pieces that really help kind of create a personality for your home and really show who you are. But I think having a mixture of the two is really, really great. Artwork was easily the hardest styling object for me to really hone in on and really kind of fine tune for my style. I still to this day really struggle with finding artwork that I love for my home. I am extremely picky when it comes to artwork that I find, but I do think having artwork for styling, especially for bookshelves and console tables and obviously walls, they are just such a perfect piece to add personality to your home, to add layers to your styling. And so I just grabbed a couple of pieces to show you guys, but adding in artwork. And for me, I love vintage artwork. Now for the styling objects that I think your home needs is your personality. And I like to find those in your specialty decorative items. I think once you really get to know your style and once you really feel drawn to certain things, this is where you can really start investing in these special pieces, whether that's more like sculptural pieces or whatever it is. I think that these are a must. Now I just brought in a couple of pieces to show you guys just kind of different personality pieces that you can bring into your home. This is a little trivet that I like to put candles on and different things on. But also recently I started getting into collecting art, vintage art supplies. So I found this brush recently. This is a calligraphy brush that's so pretty on a stack of books, but that is not something that you see in every single home. So I love having those. And then also just little pieces that is just going to really show your personality through your home, really show the things that you're interested in and really allow your home to have that collected and developed feel. All right, you guys, those those are my capsule wardrobe styling object pieces that I think are a must for a home. Let me know if I missed anything. Let me know if there's anything that you think is a must when it comes to styling your home and styling your spaces. I hope that you enjoyed this video. If you did, give it a thumbs up and I will see you guys in a couple days with another. Bye. I would say